we are going to start the dough for our tortillas, for our quesadillas. I already have corn masa in here. I am going to add some cornstarch. And the cornstarch, what it does is it makes the outer portion of the quesadilla very crispy. The inside is still very soft and tender, but the outside is real nice and crispy the way a quesadilla should be. Okay, now we're going to add our baking powder and our salt. And I will have the recipe guys linked below. Don't worry about trying to keep up. Okay, then we're just going to give this a mix with our hand just like this. If there's any lumps just break them up and then we're going to add our olive oil. I like the flavor of the olive oil. Okay, we're going to give this a mix. You don't have to go through this process guys. You can use packaged tortillas if you want. I wanted to show you the actual quesadillas that I grew up with that are delicious. You just make a little bit more effort to make the dough and boy you will taste the difference. These are not like Tex-Mex quesadillas which we will make some of those pretty soon. Okay now we're going to add the water and the water is just going to depend on how much your dough hydrates. Okay it just depends. I will have the the amount listed below what I use but once you get the feel of it, you'll know when you need more. I'm going to show you the consistency and how much I use. Okay, I'm going to take it out of the bowl to show you the consistency. And once you knead it, it shouldn't stick to your hands at all. And it should be very soft. And I'll show you. I like to just let it rest for about 30 minutes to an hour. And sometimes it will dry up a little bit and you have to add more water. Okay, see right now how I'm pressing on it and it won't stick to my hands? That's exactly what you want. But yet it's not crumbly either. If you roll it, it's not falling apart crumbly. If it gets crumbly, that means you need more water. Okay, so this is the consistency. I'm gonna let put this back in the bowl. It's kind of hard to show y'all. But I'm going to put it back in the bowl and let it rest. It will not rise, okay? This is just going to let the, the dough hydrate real nice and so that we can roll our tortillas for the quesadillas. Okay, I'll be back. All right, guys, let's go ahead and get the filling ready. I'm going to use shrimp. I What I did is I just cleaned them and we're going to chop them up, okay? You're going to chop them not into mush, but just chop them up into smaller pieces. The shrimp will cook real quick in the quesadilla. It does not take no time at all to cook. Don't think that it will not cook. And if you want to leave it a little chunky, or you can. That's up to you. If you want to put the shrimps in their hole, you can. Okay, now I'm going to put it in this larger bowl because we are going to mix some cheese and onion in there as well. Now you can be creative and create your own filling. Okay, so here we have our shrimp. I am going to add some cheese because of course that's what our quesadillas are. Quesadillas is queso. I'm going to add some onion. Probably not going to add all of this. And then we're going to add a little bit of salt. Not too much because the cheese is a little salty. And some pepper. If you want to make them spicy, dice up some chile jalapenos or some serranos. And that would taste great. Okay, and then we're just going to give this a little mix and it's done. That's our filling for the shrimp quesadillas. Okay, now we are going to do our tortillas. Alrighty, we're going to start pressing our tortillas for our quesadillas. I have the filling here, here, and I have my tortilla press. All I use for my, in the middle are two pieces of parchment paper. If you have to, if you want to use plastic, that's fine. But this, I just like to use this. I've already rolled out the balls of dough into the size that I want and I keep them covered okay so that they don't dry up on us. So I put the dough in the middle of the two parchment papers and then we're just going to press it. Not too hard but just hard enough to where you know your the size of the tortilla that you want. So that seems like a good size for me right there. Okay, and then you take your filling, make sure I'm not blocking you here. I take the filling Put it in the center. Don't overstuff it because we need to close it. Press it down so that it closes nice. And then 
just fold it over just like that just like a taco and then press the edges press the edges make sure they're pressed closed so that the filling doesn't come out and that's it the first one is done just like that this is the kind of like how we made our gorditas in the previous video if you haven't seen it go take a look at it just like that and then I'm gonna put them on my cookie tray over here and just keep going with these until I'm all done before we fry them okay and that's the last one I'm gonna pop y'all over to the stove and we'll start to fry these up I have my cast iron skillet here with just a little bit of oil. I have a strainer here with some paper towels where we're going to put our quesadillas to drain. We're going to cook up a few of these. Okay, we're just going to drop them in. Don't have the fire too hot. I have it at a medium high because you want the shrimp and everything to cook evenly. Don't overcrowd them. I would do three. ready we just take them out stand them up on the strainer there and let them drain there we go nice and crispy and then we just keep going guys Okay guys, these are all ready. I'm gonna pop y'all over to the counter and show you how I dress these up. Alrighty, here we go. I'm gonna cut one, still pretty hot. I already have some cut here, but I want you to see the inside. I like to cut them into three, the triangles into three. And look at that, see how the shrimp cooks up real nice and the cheese melts, ooh, these are hot. Okay. But this is how I present them on the table. You can leave them folded like that, cut them, and then I make some real nice salsa picante, some avocado, and some sour cream. So this is how I would present it. All right, let's give these a taste. I can't wait. Okay guys, we're gonna give this quesadilla a taste. Mmm. Nice and crispy. Mmm. The shrimp is cooked just perfectly, perfectly well. Just enough cheese, not overloaded. And the tortilla, the crispiness, I, that's, that's just exactly what I love about a quesadilla. The crispiness of it, guys. These are delicious. I hope you give them a try. They are so good. And of course, you pair it up with whatever you like. Some salsita, guacamole, sour cream, crema. Whatever you like. Okay, guys, that's going to conclude the video for today. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget, give us a thumbs up. That really helps me out here on the channel. And if you are new here, I surely would appreciate it if you hit that subscribe button. And don't forget to go follow us on Facebook and Instagram at Virtual Kitchen with Laura. Don't forget to share with family and friends. Thanks a lot for watching and spending time with me today. I'll talk to you all later. Bye.